For the second time in a month, illegal immigrants found their way onto a U.S. military base. A 17-year-old Mexican national jumped the fence of Laughlin Air Base, Air Force Base in Texas in an attempt to escape Border Patrol agents. An hour later, he was arrested. But this is after two Jordanians were here illegally and breached a Marine Corps base, Quantico, on May 3rd. So what's going on? Is this the start of a new trend here with his insights is retired acting ICE director Tom Homan. Tom, I've got to tell you, to me, I hear two Jordanian illegal immigrants on a restricted Air Force base, and I mean, red flags are flying everywhere. Well, look, you got to remember that Christopher Ray, director of FBI, says he sees more red flags than ever before, especially right. concerning the southwest border, which he called a national security threat. And look, you got two Jordanian illegal aliens entered a military installation after being told they couldn't, so they ignored law enforcement and tried to enter anyways. They're in a box truck, empty box truck. They're claiming they work for Amazon subcontract, which, which Amazon says they never heard from them. Now the Department of Homeland Security isn't telling the American people anything. They're not identifying who these people are. Now I understand if they claimed asylum, there's a regulation, 8 CFR 208.6, says you can't release information on, on a asylum applicant to protect them from the country taking retaliation. I get that. But the Secretary of Homeland Security has the authority to override that regulation and tell the American people, screw the privacy regulation. Are these people a national security threat? Why are you not identifying and telling the American people more? With everything I just mentioned about these entering the military base on a box truck, ignoring law enforcement, threats, red flags at, at record level, the American people have a right to know if there's a terrorist threat in the United States. We have a right to be concerned. We have a right to, you know, our own, um, you know, I don't want to use the word fear. Fear is peddled often. But we have a right. We, this is, we, here's the numbers of terror, people in terror watch list. This is what we know, right, Tom? This is the number of people that have crossed illegally. I think we have the graphic we can show the audience because it's skyrocketed. Uh, you know, we could dig inside those numbers, Tom, and I'm not sure that there's overlap, but to put side by side at least the number of Chinese nationals and how that skyrocketed over the last couple of months. This is all, I, again, I don't want to lean too hard in, but it's, it's terrorizing. Look, I'm afraid. I've done this for over three decades. Look, the record amount of people on the terrorist watch list that have crossed the border, the millions of people they've illegally released in the United States that aren't properly vetted. Do you think the 30,000 30, Chinese are vetted? No, we only vet them against information available to us, NCIC mm -hmm. and III. So unless they were arrested in the United States previously, or unless they were encountered on a battlefield, and biometrics or retina scan was done by a soldier, there is no record of these people. So all these people are saying they're, they're vetted, we don't have the information to vet them against. So that's a, that's a stone cold lie. And, and, and I'll tell you this, people need to be concerned because I'm concerned there's too many red flags, there's too many known suspected terrorists entering this country, and, and the number of the thousands of people from special interest alien countries, mm -hmm. Syria, Turkey, Afghanistan, Korea, we need to be concerned with this stuff. This is the biggest national security vulnerability in the history of this nation, and this administration well, you, isn't doing anything about it. You just mentioned it, Tom. Look, if, if you don't share my concerns, or a man who used to work there in Tom Homan, you mentioned the country of Turkey. How about the words of an illegal immigrant from Turkey? Listen to this. Who come into this country? They don't know. Well, okay, I'm good, but uh, how if they're not good? How they have killer, psychopath, else? Uh, no guarantee of that. Why, like, like no, no security, no security check, no background check. No security check, no background check. You're worrying about who's crossing the border. Yes, yes. yes. They are, of course, me because I'm like people. I'm not look normal. Great job there from Bill Malusian. But that's a guy crossing illegally. Going, I don't know about the rest of these guys. Look, he gets it. You get it. I get it. Most America gets it. And the sad thing is. This administration gets it. Joe Biden understands what's going on that border. Alejandro Mayorkas is a smart guy. He knows what's going on. And the, the insulting thing is that they're doing nothing about it. This shouldn't be a partisan issue. It shouldn't be a Republican or Democrat or independent issue. This should be this should be an issue for every American, especially those elected to Congress, whose full, whose number one responsibility is protecting the safety and security of this country. We all should be on the same page on this, and it, it's, it's insulting to a guy who spent three, more than three decades doing the job that we have a president and the Secretary of Homeland Security that aren't doing anything about. It. They haven't done a single thing to slow the flow. Tom Homan, thank you so much for getting up early with us to help us understand what is obviously concerning to everyone, including other illegal immigrants. Thanks, Tom.
I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.